Hi, my name is Karen Cercioletti, and I'm an investigator in the Center for Translational Immunology here at Benaroya Research Institute. In translational immunology, we study human samples so that what we learn can be quickly applied to patients across the street and elsewhere. And my research focuses on the genetics of autoimmunity and allergy. We know that these diseases have a genetic component because family members of patients, so parents or siblings or children, have an increased risk for developing these diseases, suggesting that something is being passed down in the family. So uh, my particular lab tests for genetic variants in um, immune genes with the idea that we can use this as a tool to understand the mechanisms that are break down leading to autoimmunity and allergy. And that's important because it helps us to target the right patient to the right drug and maybe find new drugs. Um, you've probably seen pictures of DNA before. It's a DNA double helix. And when we talk about genetic variants, we're talking about very simple changes in the DNA. You see these colored um, ladder pieces going through the double helix. The genetic variants we're talking about are simple changes in these colors or the bases of DNA. And it's like changing the spelling of a word from ship to shop. And um, that changes sometimes the function of the gene or the expression of a gene, either expressed more highly or less. And that can lead to changes in the immune system. We are focusing um, on COVID-19, which is caused by the SARS-CoV-2 virus and applying our expertise to this area. What we know about COVID-19 is that some patients become critically ill while others have very mild disease or are asymptomatic, so they don't have symptoms at all. And we wanna understand why this is so that we can help identify patients earlier who are gonna become very ill or target the right drugs to those patients so we can intercede. So my lab is testing for genetic differences in immune response genes. And we're trying to understand if these differences impact how well the virus is able to infect cells of the body or if it changes the ability of the immune system to recognize the virus and respond to it. Uh, often visitors will ask me, uh, when I came to BRI. I came here 25 years ago as a fellow and I've stayed because I feel like what we do here matters. Every day I have the opportunity to collaborate with other in investigators here at BRI and with patients, um, patients and use patient samples. And every day I learn something new and that's a privilege and incredibly rewarding.